Hello everyone. Uh, now I'm going to tie a parachute fly on size 32 TMCO 518 hook. So, uh, there are a couple of challenges when you have to tie such a small fly. Uh, the first one would be just uh, putting the hook in the vise. I mean, uh, the size of this hook is like ridiculously small and uh, just putting it in the vise can be a challenge for some people I mean I'll just try to show you like it's on my thumb and it's like super tiny now uh, everyone will probably have its his own uh, way how to do this and I mean I just do the same as every time I check this, the, the strength if my vice is uh, holding hook properly and then the next challenge is to find a uh, thread that's good enough for this so what I like to use is any kind of GSP in this case I'm using Nano Silk by Semperfly it's 18.0 okay one second 18.0 size uh, which is 30 denier but they are making even 24-0 size, which I unfortunately no, haven't had any chance to try yet. So, because this thread is slippery, uh, it's a bit tricky to start a fly. And when you start a fly, you want to test if the thread is going away, like unwinding, slipping away. And if it, if it's not slipping away, then just you're good. Now, another challenge you have with these hooks is that they are actually quite weak. I mean, the size of the wire is uh, very, very thin. Otherwise, it couldn't, it wouldn't be good enough for tries. And the third one uh, would be finding the right hackle for this. So let's go step by step here. And first of all, I'm going to use parachute post for parachute, obviously. And uh, even though I'm tying small fly, I'm using rather long piece of it. Uh, I just need to uh, take just a small bit of it, so I just split. I take a couple of fibers and I actually take uh, half of the amount I would actually normally use on this fly because I like to fold it like this fold it up and then uh, create this uh, parachute post so it's like you can count those fibers here actually uh, like not more than 10 I guess and I just try to see if it's too much because like here uh, like every rep counts every material strand would count so be careful about uh, positioning material uh, be careful about each wrap you, you, you put on this so I'm just going to take a couple of turns around and then see if everything is right and it looks good to me now I'm going to form a body with this green thread that's why like I'm not gonna use any dubbing here uh, I don't see any point in using dubbing on such a small fly if you want, you can leave this pink tag here as a hotspot or something like that. Uh, this is going to represent some sort of midges. I've noticed that these small midges can be this light, uh, light green color. And just let me find a proper hackle for this one. Uh, for the proper hackle, I'm not going to use saddle, of course. It's this is a uh, scalp, and you can find those small hackles, well, around the tip of the sculp like not in the middle not anywhere else but around the tip part and then just like do whatever you do regularly and try to find something that matches this size of the hackle usually for this size like the very tip is going to be fine but depending on quality of this sculp uh, mine is not very good uh, so as you can see like I cannot find easily what I'm looking for so I have to be happy with the 
maybe something else as you can see this is like almost the very tip these I can't use they're like already damaged a little bit so go left and right sometimes they uh, the size of uh, barbules would vary okay this one is perfect I think so sometimes as I just said uh, size of the heckle would be different from this side to another side even though it's the same line and this is it now what the thing is you need to strip the heckle which is also a challenge by itself so like you need to use your nails I mean it's funny tying these flies because most people wouldn't use them wouldn't put them on the tippet uh, I to be honest haven't had any chance to fish those yet but I remember a couple of occasions where these flies would actually uh, make my day uh, much more successful than it was uh, I remember a couple of days on the river in Serbia called Gradac and fish were sipping something from the surface that was obvious and they were eating something super tiny I mean I was using fly that's size 24 and fish would refuse it like they would rise up rise up and they would just refuse my fly uh, and I think it was because they were eating something super tiny so I'm using same technique as I would use for any other parachute fly like you go up with your thread uh, then up with the to, to, to make this post a bit rigid which is not that easy this time so um, just make everything the same as you would do with a normal parachute and for the hackle pliers uh, I recommend to use something that's really good quality this is something from like China India I'm not sure it's not a good quality my hackle would run away like very very often uh, so just let me bend this okay so same as in my video about cling hammer I will actually bend this hack uh, the hook into a vise 90 degrees downwards and then I'll just pull a little bit my hackle to see if it's caught properly and then just wind it around the the, the parachute post so you need to do it very very delicately and it's very good if you can use uh, consecutive wraps one after another so the hackle would be aligned better like is it, oh okay never mind everything was going well but just slight force would actually ruin everything so I'm using this 502 super glue I mean you can use whatever super glue you want and use again ridiculously small amount probably you won't even able to see the amount but it's probably going to be enough so uh, sorry for this delay uh, just wrap this hackle around the parachute post do those consecutive touching wraps try to make this hackle as even as possible as soon as it starts fighting you as it just did with me uh, you can use your thread catch this don't use too many wraps and now the scissors are very important just cut as close as you can and now uh, we'll finish under the hackle very carefully what I like to do is I like to spin my bobbin in any direction I just want to make the thread round not flat okay then one two three and that would be it I think I missed it yes I did but it's not gonna be a problem here so cut the thread 
I mean, you can notice how I talk, like it's very delicate what I do. So I'm going to reposition everything. And as you can see, the hackle is a bit on the longer side. I would prefer it to be a bit shorter, but well, I cannot choose. So I'm going to cut the parachute post to length. And that's it. A couple of tips when fishing these flies. Uh, I mean, obviously you have to use very, very fine tippet, like 7x is the thickest I would use. Uh, probably 8 or 9x would be better. Uh, 50, 60 cm tippet would be more than plenty because that thin tippet doesn't um, demand uh, the length to be as long as with some thicker ones. Uh, so just use very fine tippets, use softer rods obviously because you can straighten up the hook. Uh, one of the most important things I can say is like delay your hook set because if you don't delay, if you set the hook like with a big fly, this little tiny thing will actually pop out of fish's mouth and you will lose the fish or you will just uh, catch the fish by the very tip which will result in opening the hook and again losing the hook and the, the fish sorry so guys i hope you like this video uh i hope uh, that it was useful for you uh tell me in comments below what you think about fishing these small flies the smallest i was fishing is 24 to be honest nymphs and dries and uh same rules apply with this one so guys again thank you very much and see you next time